bad. How? What are I'm you drinking? Sweating. What are you drinking? Matcha. <laughs> Welcome to episode one of Ask M. I have a YouTube and I have a lot of questions that people ask me. So this is just a great way to combine the two. Um, you guys ask the questions, I answer them. I have committed, which is a big thing because I have some serious commitment issues, to making this happen every Thursday and then the live, the good, the edited version will be up on my YouTube every Friday. So what you guys need to do is ask the questions. Um, to ask questions, all you guys have to do is tag on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram, three beautiful avenues to get a hold of yours truly. Um, ask a question and hashtag ask M. The best way for me to see it is honestly a picture because I can actually, sometimes the pictures go through too fast on Instagram and I can't see all the things that are tagged to me on the subtitle. So if you can actually tag a picture with Emily Schramm and then um, I can see the picture that way, that's the best. But always all avenues make it happen because I want to get you guys the information you want and need to hear uh, and that's how this is gonna work Sushi, so good. question number one this is from Jessica Lee on my Instagram and this is a great question she tagged me in a picture with some delicious sushi rolls and wanted to talk about sushi I freaking love sushi and that's kind of one of MK and I's go-to's if we really don't want to cook. Um, we have two sushi places right by our house. So when should you have sushi? What do you order when you get sushi? Um, I should never be one to tell you you can't have sushi because sushi is freaking amazing. So what I do is one, if you are training pretty heavy, so if you're weightlifting a little bit more, white rice isn't the worst thing. Um, so for someone that's an athlete, even though on my 21 day challenge, it is not allowed because I want you guys to get rid of all simple sugars to control blood sugar. In general, a little bit of white rice is okay. So especially for heavy weightlifting days is kind of when I have my sushi days. So if I squatted a ton of weight, um, that's going to be kind of my sushi night. I always can get half rice. So if you go to the sushi place, you can ask for less rice or if nothing else, you can get sashimi. And sashimi is sushi without the rice, which can kind of suck. So to make it a little bit better, I always bring coconut aminos. And I'm totally that weird person that brings a little sauce packet or to-go packet of coconut aminos because soy sauce doesn't have the greatest stuff for you. I think soy in general isn't healthy. So for me, I have a reaction to soy and it also has gluten, so it's a double whammy. Coconut aminos taste just like soy sauce, but it is so delicious and all, one ingredient, it just is coming straight from coconuts. I don't know how they get it to look the way it does or taste the way it does, but it works and it's great. Um, so always, instead of soy sauce, use coconut aminos and then load up on the ginger and wasabi to make your sashimi taste well. Um, and then of course, you can't have a great meal. You have the great protein coming from the fish, but it's only gonna fill you up for an hour unless you're very conscious about adding avocados and fats. And so making sure you can get as much avocado in that sushi as you can and trying to get as little of sauces as you can because that's where they really put in a lot of sugar. Um, so sashimi is kind of your best bet with maybe some avocado salad or a roll that has avocado in it and maybe add less rice. Boom! That's my thoughts on sushi. Oh no, so cool. What's up? What's up? I had Sister Act 2 songs in my head all day. I don't understand why. It's just happening. Sister Act is a great movie. It is a really Whoopi good movie. Goldberg is one of the greatest actresses of our time. Okay, question number two, skincare. This is from Instagram, uh, a picture someone tagged Ask M from, I believe, Miss Fakahani. I believe I said that right. Anyway, the question was, what about skincare? What do I do for skin? Um, this is a very at-home subject for me. Some of you have heard me talk about this. I had the absolute worst acne, and unfortunately, during my struggles with acne, which was actually my whole life, I also got casted for real world. So, 
on top of already knowing I had bad skin, I had cameras in my face, like in my face for a very long time, for three and a half months. And then I had to re-see what that looked like and had to hear about how bad my skin was on top of knowing that my skin was pretty bad. So I've had some serious issues with my skin. It made me feel very depressed. It made me feel very unworthy and it really affected my self-esteem. And so when I first heard about paleo or actually more so grains causing um, skin issues or even dairy causing skin issues, I was so excited because I wanted more than anything to find the natural way to heal my skin. And I had done everything. I've done pills and creams and proactive. Like it has been pretty recently where I quit proactive because it was so like if I took, I was so paranoid that maybe I would get acne again. Like that's anyone who has skin issues, you guys know how it is. So um, the first thing I, I can say is that nutrition is so key and nutrition hormones are absolutely a big piece of it, but nutrition ties into your hormones. And so if we have a lot of blood sugar regulation issues, so we're crabby or we have to have food for energy or we have a lot of bad fatigue in the afternoon and we're maybe craving sugar a lot that's a sign that our blood sugar isn't being regulated and we probably have a little bit too high of carbohydrate in our diet and we need to replace that with good fats and so the best thing to do is change your diet get rid of the extra carbohydrates use natural carbohydrates like sweet potatoes some fruit and sweet plantain chips um, make sure you have high quality protein at every single meal tons of vegetables and then good fats and so that's kind of the gist of my 21 day challenge right so if you have all of those pieces then we have to see what else is causing um, some reactions is it dairy is it soy is it um, sometimes people have reactions to nuts you have to kind of figure that out and it's a little bit of a process to find out what your body reacts to but when you find that out for me it was gluten and it was dairy when I take those out, oh my God, my skin is so, so much better. And I definitely still have some flare-ups. You guys can see, I don't know, maybe I should zoom in. You can definitely, I don't have perfect skin and I don't know if I ever will. Um, I don't know, I think that eventually the more I heal my gut, the better my skin will be. But I also had goat cheese all weekend because I, had, I was at a winery and goat cheese is supposed to be worse than, supposed to be better than regular cheese. So it's like, I kind of know if I'm gonna have cheese, I'm gonna break out. And if I know that I have a photo shoot or something coming out or coming up, I'm really strict with my diet. So I'm not always perfect, which is why this will always happen. Um, and that's okay, I'm not even that upset about it because I know that this is so much better. My face is so much cleaner and clearer than it ever has been. If your diet is really clean and you feel like you got the diet part down, um, we need to look at some natural face cares. I think that any uh, thing you put on your skin, you have to realize how much is absorbed. So natural care for your face wash, for your oils, those kind of things that you absorb through your skin are important. So if you're putting toxic face wash and very harsh chemicals on your skin, um, it's not gonna be good for you. And so I've been really great about using um, just a, that, a tiny little scrubber. And basically what it is, is it's this sponge. I've posted about it before. It's this sponge called Conage. And you get it wet and you just rub and it's a natural exfoliator. It comes from a plant. You can get it on Amazon for eight bucks. And then I use two oils. I use lavender and frankincense. And those are the oils I put on. If I have a serious breakout, then tea tree oil, I actually just put that on overnight and it works perfectly. The last thing I wanna say about skincare is that your gut health is so important. And so even adding more probiotics and helping your gut be as healthy as possible, and that could be kimchi or sauerkraut or kombucha, um, those kind of really good fermented foods, if you eat more of them, your gut is healthier and that really plays into my skin health. I know it sounds so crazy and so disconnected, but we are like a very powerful being and everything is connected and when you can fix your gut, you fix a lot of issues. So start adding probiotics into your diet. How's my hair, Wade? Mm, looks, so, looks good. <laughs> <laughs> One day I'm going to shave it all off. Okay. Oh Question number three from Mike Rodriguez. Mike Rodriguez asked me via Twitter, one of the three avenues you can ask me questions on, <laughs> is have you ever been skydiving and how was it? So let me tell you, this is a funny story. We're going to take a little nutrition fitness break and talk about my skydiving experience, which re basically I will never go skydiving again. I'm an adrenaline junkie. I love jumping out of 
things and off of things and I when I get scared and when I am on my motorcycle that's like when I'm the happiest because I'm in the moment and it's just so much my element so when I went skydiving I've been to Las Vegas I've been in um, where else have I been San Diego Las Vegas Kauai so I went back to Kauai and I was like okay I'm gonna skydive again because MK has never been skydiving before. So I promised her I'd go with her. So it was my fourth time skydiving. I woke up that morning in complete dread, like so like sweating. And I love jumping out of things. So I felt very weird that I was kind of hesitant to want to jump out of a plane. It was very abnormal. So I said something. I said, I don't really feel like this is maybe the day for me to skydive. I just have a bad feeling. And that didn't go over so well. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna go skydiving. So I go to the plane, which is jankety, and you're in Kauai, so there's wind everywhere, and you're basically surrounded by tons of water. And I watched the guy roll up my chute, and I just had this horrible feeling in my stomach, like something's gonna happen. Like, today's the day I'm gonna die. I just knew it. And part of me was like, stop putting it out there, because when you put things out there, it happens, but just stop. So anyway, he, we get in the plane and I'm doing it tandem, so I have this guy, total D-bag on my back. He's playing Candy Crusher on the way up the plane, pretending like he's too cool for school. And I'm just like, holy shit, this is not gonna, I'm gonna be okay. Like, and I just had this moment where if this is the day I die, I am okay with it. Like I had the like come to Jesus moment where it was like, I love my life, I love my family, I am happy, it's okay. And so like, I'm really feeling these feelings. Anyway, the door opens, MK goes out first. They, when you have two people in a plane, one person jumps out first, and about 15 seconds later, the second person jumps, which is me. So we jump out, and of course it's amazing, and everything's happening, and it's just so fast, and it's beautiful, and I love it, and the view is gorgeous. And then I think to myself, this is the longest I've ever free fallen. Because usually they pull the chute, and I'm like, oh my gosh, that was it? Like, let me do this again, that was it. I did not feel that way. I was like, the, the land is getting closer and closer, and our shoe still isn't, it's not happening. And so, oh my God, like after a few seconds of me thinking this, which is a lot of time when you're dropping down like 9,000 feet per second, um, the sh like we have huge whiplash and the shoe catches and like I land maybe three minutes later, MK lands after me, five minutes, six minutes after, I, I mean, it was just crazy. So basically what happened was my chute didn't open, he like spun around, it was like traumatizing, we landed, he was like, holy shit, I can't believe we almost didn't land because if they pull the extra chute in Kauai, I'm gonna end up on some ocean, so that's like the last thing they wanna do is pull the spare chute, but I won't ever skydive again. That's the end of that story. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh so yes, I've been skydiving, but if I go skydiving again, I will go skydiving on my own. I won't have some douchebag on my back playing Candy Crusher as we jump out of the plane. If you go to skydiving, make sure you trust the person. That's all I have to say. Oh, I got sweaty just talking about it. It was oh. so scary. I've never been so freaked in my life. I was like, I have to be okay with dying right now. What question are we on, Wade? I feel like Vanna White. Yes. I would like to buy a vow. $500. <laughs> and Alicia asked me on Instagram, what about nutritional therapy? What about nutritional schools? Um, what school are you going to? And maybe should I do it? So this is my little tidbit on the school I'm in. I am going to finish nutritional therapy being a nutritional therapist practitioner in October, so less than a month away, I'm so excited. Uh, I go through Nutritional Therapy Association, so NTA. There's a couple different schools. I picked NTA because it's online for the most part. I do go to Salt Lake City three times out of the course of the sessions, um, but Salt Lake City is a really easy, cheap flight. I have met so many amazing people and I have learned so much about my body and I really think that there's something to helping clients that you can't tap into unless you get into their nutritional um, nitty gritty stuff. And so you could be eating exactly what your doctor or your personal trainer tells you to eat or me, you could be doing my challenge. <laughs> um, you could be exercising exactly how you should be exercising, whether it's at a CrossFit gym or whether it's my 21 day challenge workouts. 
Sometimes that's not enough. And when we have stuff going on in our gut, whether it's digestion, whether it's um, leaky gut, whether it's adrenal fatigue, that stuff all ties in together. And it's really helpful to find out what supplements um, will help you exactly. And so that's what NTA has taught me, is that you can really find out what each individual needs to help them become the best version of themselves. And so I love nutritional therapy. It's way more than just learning about nerdy, nutrition things, which you guys know I love talking about and I love preaching about and teaching other people about, but when you can actually go through a functional evaluation and teach and show somebody that their, their digestive enzyme point, because their pancreas isn't working right, can be helped by just taking some enzymes with your food and it will help break down your food better and help your digestion, that's a powerful thing. Everything happens with digestion. So anyway, Long story short, I'm a big believer in nutritional therapy. I'm so excited to be a part of it, and it's a great school if you check it out, NTA. Okay, my final question. Final question from Lo Banana. <laughs> That's so fun, I like your name, Lo Banana. Lo Banana asks about waist trainers. This is a very short answer, and I can always elaborate in later ask -ems. There's no quick fix. It takes a lot of work, and it takes discipline to change your body and to change your diet but it is so rewarding. And if you're looking for a quick fix, you're gonna look for a very non-long-term solution. Um, nothing that's quick will last you long, a long time. And anyone that's been through a diet that's failed can attest to that. So when you're trying to change your body and change your waist and change your mental state, you have to put yourself on a real food program, you have to lift weights, and it takes a lot of work. You have to cut sugar, you have to get rid of processed foods, and you're not only going only you're not only going to get healthier and feel better, but then you start losing the weight you need. You don't want to mess up your hormones by throwing all these diet pills on you. You don't want to waste all this money by strapping some saran wrap around your waist and losing some water weight. It really doesn't work. So go to the gym, work your ass off, learn how to eat real food, and your life will be forever changed. If you like what you saw today, please share. Um, by the way, Periscope, I would love you if you guys could share this as well. I forgot to mention that. Um, my name is Emily Schramm. I am a personal trainer, CrossFit coach, and I love talking all things fitness and health and food. That's what I'm here for. You guys ask the questions, and I'm going to give you the responses. Ask the questions by tagging hashtag AskM, by tagging me in Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram. And every Thursday, I'll be putting these together. Friday, it'll show up on your YouTube. So share the link and make sure you keep asking questions. I'll do my best to give you guys the answers you want. Mwah! Yay! I'll see you guys next week. <laughs>